All right, so this this piece of paper says terms and conditions on it, okay? Now, it would take me 45 minutes to do that, but I'm going to tell you this is eight pages. We're going to give you the basics of it today, but there's eight pages of things that you want to read before you go to an auction in San Diego County. Hello and welcome. My name is Sheldon and the question is, are you ready to uncover the insider tips that can lead to success in tax sales in San Diego? Well, today, Ted Thomas, the Tax Deed Certificates and Tax Deed Authority will be sharing insider tips, techniques and strategies to set you on the path to success. These questions today came from all over Ted's social media platforms, and I'd like to welcome Ted. Okay, let's go for it. <laughs> okay, Ted, the first question is from Adriana. She's on Instagram and she's asking, look, Ted, I live in San Diego. Do they sell tax liens or tax deeds? Okay, that's a good question. Um, all of California sells tax defaulted property, which are tax deeds. So if you live in San Diego, whether the city or the county, guess what? They're going to sell tax defaulted property and that's called tax deeds. That means you're going to get the property and you're going to get the property without a mortgage or a deed of trust. Okay, great. Gabby's asking, he's asking, how long does San Diego County host these tax deed sales? When it comes to San Diego, you want to make sure that you've gone to the San Diego County Recorder's Office and you've gone there online so that you can download. And I'm going to show you what you can download here in just a second. I'm just fussing with the paper. Okay. All right, so this... This piece of paper says terms and conditions on it, okay? Now, it would take me 45 minutes to do that, but I'm gonna tell you this is eight pages. We're gonna give you the basics of it today, but there's eight pages of things that you wanna read before you go to an auction in San Diego County. Now, this is serious business. There's no fun at auctions. Everybody thinks auctions are fun. This is serious business, and when this county takes your money, they keep it. Douglas wants to know, he says, will the San Diego Tax Collector Department announce the next tax sale? And again, where can they find that list? Start out with San Diego Treasurer. The treasurer is the person that actually does the auction, okay? All right, they are in control. They are the power position. Here's two other good places to look. San Diego Tax Collector. Going to get more information, but don't miss San Diego County Recorder because they're going to give you you can download this and the tax collector are going to download all the terms and conditions. I mean, this is extensive. Um, Justin popped up from Facebook and he says, look, my question is, I live in San Diego, California. Do you think property taxes are higher because the houses are expensive here? Will that mean high starting bids at the auction? Okay. Um, throughout California, the prices are higher than the rest of the nation because the, exp the state is more expensive to live in. Everything is a little higher price. And real estate is even higher than it would be in any other location in the United States. And there'd be some exceptions like in Maryland, New York City, and what have you. But basically, the prices are high throughout California. So that's not unusual. But what's going to happen at a California auction is number one, they're not even gonna start the auction on any property in California until the property is five years behind on taxes. All right, now most other states, if the property is behind on taxes on one year, they're gonna put it up and try to, try to collect the taxes by taking it to auction so people pay their taxes. In California, very liberal state, they allow five years of taxes to accrue before they'll even start the auction. So that's what's taking the prices up on the bidding price. Now, California, the prices of the retail prices are going to be high and your auction price is going to be high. We got one here from YouTube. Caitlin is asking, what liens don't fall off the property that I should be cautious of when researching San Diego County records? All right. By law, the tax defaulted property will lose a mortgage or a deed of trust. That doesn't mean the property is free of other liens. Now, I couldn't name all the liens that are possible, but I can tell you two right now that you must check on. One is a municipal lien, because that will remain on the property in most cases. Check with the county recorder, they'll tell you. 
But I can tell you the federal lien will always remain on the property. So those two liens could make this a very uneconomical purchase for you. Because if those two liens stayed on the property and you paid a high price, boy, now you're going to be really be in trouble. So remember those sites I told you to go back to. It's very important that you do your research when it comes to any one of these counties. Isaac wants to know, he says, will it cost me anything to participate in a tax deed auction in San Diego? And is there some form of a deposit? In order to go to the auction, you have to register and register ahead of time. So you can do that electronically online, but many of them are going to require a deposit. Now, why do they require a deposit? Number one, to discourage looky loose. They don't want people just coming to hang around and, and, uh, and watch the auction. They want people that are going to be bidders. All right, they also have you give a deposit so that if you make a bid and you don't show up and pay for that property, they're going to keep your deposit. So I would expect to have to pay, it's probably not very much, probably $1,000, something like that. Los Angeles charges $5,000, but you're getting the idea. So it's not a free ride. Okay, I've got a question from TikTok and they want to know, how long does it typically take to receive your tax deed in the mail after winning a property at a tax deed sale in San Diego? And what are the next steps after you receive that deed? Let's talk about how long it takes to get this. All right, so if you raise your hand at the auction, okay. you win the bid. All right, you won the bid means you're going to get a deed to the property. That means at that point in time, stop everything. Just stop. Because now you've won the property. But you can't go on that property, you can't do anything to that property until the actual deed arrives and you have it in the mail and in your hand. And so Sheldon's question was, how long before you get that deed? Well, I don't know, but I can tell you the county in their terms and conditions will tell you it's gonna be four to six weeks. My experience has been at some auctions within California, it could take six weeks, nine weeks. It could take 90 days. All right. If it takes 90 days, you cannot go on that property. You can't do anything in that property. You do not own that property until it shows on the county records that you own the property or you have the deed in your hand. Very, very important that you know that. So what can you do? You're going to sit there and wait. And what you're going to do if you're really smart, is you want to think about security because if this is a nice home that you bought or something that could be damaged, you want to see what you can do about securing it. Securing the property would make sense. However, keep in mind, you don't own that property until you have the deed. Wouldn't it be nice to have a calendar that shows all the auctions across of the, the entire nation, where the auctions are, what time there are, I know you have something like this, Ted. Would you please go ahead and share that information with the folks that are watching? We've been talking about San Diego County. It's one county of over 3,000. All right, so we're not in the business. We're not in the business of just teaching one county. We teach people about all the counties. There's over 3,000 of them. All right, so how would you get information? So I said, well, you could research and get terms and conditions from San Diego County and a lot of other things. They're yeah, happy to give you that information. Well, you'd want that from all the counties in the United States, uh, but you don't want it all at once because if you did, it would fill up your house. So you can learn about auctions on the county website. You can learn it from the local newspaper in that county. All right, how are you going to get all that information? Well, if you don't have, when I started this, I used to have black hair and I was skinny. And what we had to do is we had to drive there and beg them for the information. Then they'd give it to us. Then we'd go out and drive around, look at the property. Well, this is the day and age of electronics. You could sit at your computer and move your cursor and go to each individual county. You could find out how many properties for sale. So now you get a lot of information just on an electronic site that you could do from your kitchen table if you wanted, rather than get 3,000 newspapers sent to your house. You're getting the idea. So all of that is demonstrated right below me so you can go there now if you like folks why don't you just go ahead and click like and subscribe and ask questions in the comments below ted the research team will get those questions to ted and he'd be more than happy to answer those questions in upcoming um, videos that we do. I want to thank you, Ted, so much for all your wisdom and all your answers to these questions. And folks, we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.